A heavy focus remains on Adair County following Tuesday's tornado that took the lives of four people and injured dozens more in Greenfield. KCCI's Ethan Humble shows us the different forms of help coming through this weekend. This spray painted heart may appear to just be a simple piece of art to the outsider, but to those within the Greenfield community, it's a sign of strength and solidarity amid disaster recovery. The tornado damages in Greenfield have been hard to swallow. People are traumatized. But now help is on the way. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, also known as FEMA, began canvassing neighborhoods Saturday to help tornado survivors. It's how they're meeting each and every neighbor where they are in recovery. Everybody went through this disaster together and this devastating tornado. But everybody's exact situation is unique different levels of damage, different levels of insurance coverage and different needs. 14 workers walked house to house Saturday helping neighbors apply for FEMA assistance. It could include paying for a temporary place to live, home repairs, medical expenses or other needs not covered by insurance. It's all done to help people through the difficult time. People are going through a lot right now and that's why we're coming to these neighborhoods to provide assistance. And support is also coming in an emotional form. David Graham, better known as Cowboy Dave, is spending his retirement driving from one disaster to another, painting hearts or other supportive messages for the community to enjoy. I go to where there's a catastrophic loss of life. And in Greenfield, he says he hopes to provide a distraction from the devastation. To drive by and see a heart or see a your lives matter, Greenfield lives matter or whatever and that give them 15 seconds to think that's nice. You can apply with FEMA at 800-621-FEMA or disasterassistance.gov. In Greenfield, Ethan Humble, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. FEMA says anyone dealing with disaster damage should apply whether they have insurance or not. The agency also plans on opening a disaster recovery center in Greenfield tomorrow at 1 p.m.